What's up guys, Dandroid here. I am back and I'm gonna talk about super bouncing again, but this time I'm gonna talk about frame rate, physics engines, and how the two are related. So first off, this is a response to my last video. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. There's a link below. After I posted my last video, people started pointing out the similarities between Halo 2 on PC and Halo 2 on the Xbox One. Many people have agreed that the fact that they both run at 60 frames a second and lack super bouncing is proof enough that the 60 frames a second is what's making super bouncing only work in very specific situations. Well, I'm here today to prove that theory wrong. So we're gonna keep it short and sweet today, so we're going to stay right here at Zanzibar. So I've spent the last few days coming up with a very creative hack to get Halo 2 on the PC to run at whatever frame rate I desire. What I'm going to do is I'm going to perform one of the most simple super bounces that I know I can successfully do every time, and I'm going to change the frame rate in between trials. The frame rate is indicated in the top left corner, and that is the actual frame rate that the game is being rendered on, not just the frame rate as an output to the video. According to people on the Halo Waypoint forums, the problem with super bouncing in both Halo 2 PC and Halo 2 for the Xbox One in the Master Chief Collection is that they both run at a higher frame rate. As a reminder, the way super bounces work is that you get slightly stuck in the floor, which the game engine knows isn't supposed to happen. So it activates an impulse to push you out of the floor. When they were programming the game, they overdid the force a little bit and it caused you to fly up in the air. The idea behind the frame rate theory is that because the game engine has to calculate your position twice as often as if it were running at 30 frames a second, you are far less likely to get stuck in the floor, effectively eliminating the possibility for bouncing. As you can see, I've demonstrated the super bounce technique several times with several low frame rates, even lower than 30 frames a second running on the original Xbox, and I've had no success at all. So this disproves the theory that super bouncing was eliminated because of the higher frame rate. Or does it? As it turns out, the frame rate theory is actually not far off. While the reason super bounces are gone is related to the frame rate, saying that it's gone because of the frame rate is not completely precise. The frame rate does not control the physics engine. Saying the frame rate changes the physics engine is like saying changing your monitor will change how the game plays. However, the physics engine's calculation rate is related to the frame rate in a way. The game developer can set the physics engine's calculation rate independently of the frame rate, but if it's lower than the frame rate, you will experience strange jerking visuals. So what they typically do is set the physics engine to calculate as often as the highest frame rate that's going to be experienced by the gamer. So when Halo 2 was originally released in 2004, the Xbox maxed out at 30 frames a second. So when they were optimizing the game, they set the game engine to run at 30 calculations per second. When the game was re-released for the PC, they knew PCs were far more powerful and could easily handle anything up to 60 frames a second, so they changed the physics engine to better support that. However, not all PCs can handle 60 frames a second, so what I did was underclock my graphics card to run at the frame rate I desired. This proves that the physics engine is still running at 60 cycles per second while the screen is outputting 30 frames a second. Now how does this affect Halo 2 running on the Xbox One? Since the Xbox One is running Halo 2 at 60 frames a second as well, one might argue that we can't say for sure that Halo 2 on the Xbox One is a PC port, now that we know that super bounces aren't working due to, higher, due to a higher resolution game engine. While this is true, I still believe that Halo 2 on the Xbox One is a PC port due to the fact that it would have saved them a ton of time because they wouldn't have to port it. Not to mention the hit detection glitches pointed out in countless other videos. So the takeaway from this video is that super bounces are gone due to the physics engine being upgraded, not the frame rate, although the physics engine was upgraded to better support higher frame rates. That's it for today. Let me know what you think.